In this video, I'll show you how to calculate continuous exponential decay. The formula for continuous exponential decay is defined below, where y is equal to a times e to the power of negative nt. a represents your initial amount, n represents the rate, and t represents the time. The question reads, a room initially 80 degrees Fahrenheit above the outside temperature cools exponentially at a rate of 25% per hour. Find the temperature of the room above the outside temperature at the end of 135 minutes. I'm going to reread this question, but this time highlight some key points. We are told that the initial temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and we are told the rate is 25% per hour. Also, we want to find out what happens after 135 minutes. So we have our initial value is equal to 80. Our rate, represented by the letter n, is 0 0.25 per hour. And lastly, our time is 135 minutes. Now, since the time does not agree in terms of its units with its rate, you have to change minutes to the rate unit, and that's in terms of hours. So 135 minutes to hours, you use the conversion ratio, obviously, 60 minutes per every hour or one hour per every 60 minutes. And what this will do, if we multiply 135 by this conversion ratio, the minutes will cancel out, giving us precisely how many hours that is. Using our calculator, 135 times one, which is 135, divided by 60 gives us nine over four, or exactly two and a quarter hours. Let's plug in this information into the formula. We have y is equal to 80 times e, Euler's number, to the power of negative 0 0.25, that's our rate, times t of 2.25. Now we can use our calculator to evaluate this. So 80 times, and to access the number e, you need to click alpha in this button, to the power of negative 0 0.25. And just be aware that in every calculator, it's different. So for me, it was alpha in this button. For you, it might be something else. 2.25 gives us 45.58. 45.58. And the units for this number will be degrees Fahrenheit. So let's discuss what's happening here. A room initially is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So if we look at this on an X and Y plot, where our X axis represents the time and the Y axis represents the temperature, we start off at 80 degrees and that's at time zero. Within two and a quarter hours, so let's say two and a quarters over here, the temperature levels off to 45.6, this number. Since it is decreasing exponentially, we can assume that it goes down really fast, and then it begins to level off around the temperature 45.6. I know this is a crude drawing, but this is what's happening over a continuous period. The reason it levels off is because of Newton's law of cooling, which suggests that the amount of decrease is proportional to the initial amount. For example, hot steel cools quickly, whereas cool steel cools slowly. And there you have it. That is how to calculate continuous exponential decay.